Hi there, my name is Charlotte Venter and today I'm going to show you how to get increased likes on your Facebook fan page. It's a pretty simple thing to do and there's many, many different methods. Some of them you pay for and others you don't. So I'm going to show you one way um, being an advert and you actually pay for that on Facebook and the other ways are just techniques of, of little things that you can do daily to add those likes. So I'm going to screen share so I can show you my page. And my page that we'll look at today is Retire Your Partner. So the first thing you would do is go up here into this little arrow right at the top and you would go into Create an Ad. So what we're doing here is we're selecting the type of ad that's going to bring likes to your fan page. So there's many different types as you'll see down here, but today we're looking at for the likes to promote your page. So if you click on that one, and then it's going to come up with a list of your pages and you can select the one that you want to advertise. So it's brought it up there. And now we're going to go down here and to set audience and budget. Now one of the first things you have to do is to make sure that the image you're going to use to advertise only has a maximum of 20% text on the picture. If it doesn't, then Facebook is going to decline your advert and um, they're not going to send it out. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just scroll right down to the bottom and we will go down here and to choose Add Creative. What will happen is automatically Facebook will take the banner, your existing banner as the image, but of course you can change that by going here and to select images. So click on select images and then on this side here you can either browse the face, you can browse a library, so photos that you already have set up in Facebook, or you can go into some free stock photos, or you can go and pick out an image that you've got saved on your computer, which is what I'm going to do because I normally design my own, my own adverts. So this takes me down to my computer and you'll see I've got thousands and thousands of pictures on here. But I just did a quick little picture on canva.com, which is an awesome project, sorry, um, program to use for designing your own images. And I'm just going to quickly pick out the one that I did um, as a test. So 20% text does limit you, so you've got to make sure that the text that you use is really powerful and that the person sees it straight away. And um, the one method that I use to check um, if my text doesn't exceed the 20% is I will um, use what Facebook has, what they call a grid tool. And I will go into that just to make sure that my text isn't more than, than what it's allowed to be. So if you click up here and help on the right hand side, you'll see there's a help button and it comes up with a whole heap of questions which are pretty standard kind of questions. And you'll see the very first one here says, I've received a warning about text in my ad image, what can I do? So if you click on that, Facebook will send you to what they call a grid tool and you can then check your image to make sure um, that you don't exceed the 20%. So down here it says check your ad using the grid tool. So number two, so if you click on that, it'll take you to another page and you can upload your image here and do a quick little test. So you just go into grid tool over here, click on that and choose a file. So again, I'm going to go and pick that same image just to make double sure it's not going to get declined, which is this one. And you'll see that it opens up a grid and it actually asks you to click on every block that has text in the grid and then automatically Facebook will do a calculation to see if you've exceeded that or not. So you'll see the grid here and I just need to now click on every little box that has text in it. And on the side here it says based on the boxes you've selected your image is covered by 20% text. So I know I'm all good. I don't need to make any changes. You know, 20% text is basically five blocks. So if you wanted to have an image where you've got maybe text just in the top corner and maybe one other block, that's sort of the amount that you're limited to using. I love to just run it all down the image because 
I think it gives a better impact and you can have your text larger. So this is normally the kind of thing I would do. So I'm happy. I know it's going to be approved. I can go out of this and I can go back to my ad manager. And now I'll just go on the left hand side here yeah, up to campaign and I'll start putting in all the information. So we know it's this page that I want to do and I'm happy with that. So I'll click on the next block which is set your audience and your target market. Now on location you can select if you want certain people but I normally just leave it everyone in this location. I'll leave it open to that. On here you can actually select country. Now I do encourage you not to select more than maybe two areas at once. Um, if you're looking to get your target market to like your page, keep it to two areas because then you have a really good hit on your, your right target market. But if you're just chasing likes, then put in loads of areas because if you do that, you know, places like India and, and um, Indonesia, Africa, you'll get lots of likes and it'll just boost your likes. But, you know, there's, there's two different reasons for getting likes. The one is that when somebody looks at your page and they see, oh, there's only 100 likes, it can sort of deter them and they may think, oh, you know, what's the point? I'm not going to look at it. The other one is that if you do have a couple of thousand likes and somebody sees your page, they think, oh, I need to look at this because other people are looking at it and it must be important. So there's a bit of a balance there. I normally run the first adverts on my new pages. I'll run everywhere just to boost a few likes. And then I'm more selective and, and I'll make sure that I really just focus on my target market. So for this example, we're just going to hit Australia. So in here, you can actually just type in what country you would like. So just up here. So let's say I add South Africa to this one. And, you know, it comes up and you just click on it and it adds it to your target area. From there you go down and you select an age. So what age of people are you looking for? And here you can select is it all genders or do you want men or females? You can select a language down here and further down this is a really important part if you specifically looking at your target market is you want to make sure that you include the um, interests that are specific to your target market. So for me, I love entrepreneurs. That's really the people I work with. And also, let's say, work from home. Because I love helping people set up their home business. So work from home. So I normally, again, just work with two interests. If you make it too broad, then you tend to lose um, a lot of good, good leads. But again, you know, I just want to mention that are you just chasing likes or are you really looking for your target market? Up here is a good indicator of how focused your campaign is. You really want to get up to about the middle here. So at the moment, what we've selected is really broad. You, you'll you find if you go out and you, you maybe delete a country, you're more age specific, you select, you know, men or women. Let's have a look and I can quickly show you. So let's say we go, I'm only looking for people from 30 up to, um, let's say 55, or we'll make it yeah, 55, and you, um, maybe we just delete one country, so it's only in Australia, and let's keep going and we will, we will get this to a better position. So now you, you look at, um, just complete all the information that it asks you for. I won't go into too much of that detail now because we don't have too much time, but just fill out the information, gear it to hit your target market. Now you're going to get to setting your daily budget. So I normally work on so much per day. You can also select um, you want to spend X amount per click, which is the better way to go because then you know you're going to get a certain amount of clicks for your money. Um, but for this example, we'll just work on a daily budget. So normally I just, I don't go more than $10 a day. I stick to $10 a day and then I will say run my ad for a set date. So I always select a start and end date. So let's say we started today and we're going to finish it on Sunday. Running these ads over weekends are really good because from a Thursday to Sunday is when Facebook gets the best value in terms of who looks at your posts. And also public holidays are really good because people have time and they, they have a look at Facebook a lot more. 
and you can just keep going down here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow whatever they ask you for and key in um, what your criteria is and then you go to the next step which is choose add creative now we have checked our photo we know that's all good so I'm happy with that the next thing you've got to do is change your text okay so automatically Facebook will just take whatever text they have seen in your on your page but this you don't get a lot of text you just sort of get a little a line and a little bit more so you want to make sure that you put something powerful there so maybe we'll do is 2016 your year for um, let's say working from home um, and you know I like to bring in something that I know most people are looking for and most people are looking for an extra income so um, I'm going to say here earn extra income and you will quickly see um, if you've put in too much text here it'll actually come up and, and change into a different color but you can also see here if it stopped any of your words you know you've put in too much text so it's 2016 your year for working from home and earning it should really be earning extra income and um, you know Facebook will just take this off of your page so you can't really change any of the text there um, what this does here is it shows you what your ad would look like on a mobile so if somebody saw it on a mobile what what are they going to see can they see all the text you want to make sure that it's clear and they can actually see it and this is if they're looking at it on a desktop and on the sidebar on Facebook what the ad would look like and you know what really does stand out here is 2016 work from home and um, that I think will be quite catchy because a lot of people do want to work from home but they just don't know exactly how and what to do so guys that's it all you do now is you go place order and it's going to post that first send it through to Facebook for approval it takes a couple of hours and um, then you'll get an email from Facebook to say it's been approved when you go back to your page you will see that um, it will show in the sidebar so I'll show you quickly it's going to show in the sidebar here that you've got an advert running and you can go into it it'll be up here you can go into it anytime and you can stop it you can change the picture you can change the text you're not stuck to keeping it run for the full four days you can change it anytime so that's the first way you can um, increase likes onto your page the second way is you can share your page so if you go here onto your page and you click on these little dots here you see there's an option here to say share and then it's going to ask you where do you want to share it to now for me I've got many different pages so here it comes up with an option so share on your own timeline or share on a friend's timeline or on a group or share on a page you manage so for this example I'm going to just go to share on my own timeline and I'm going to say something here like friends have you seen my business page for helping folk like you work from home please like and share for I'll just say please like and share smiley face thanks a ton so what this is going to do now when I go post and I'll take you through to my page and show you I go post this is now going to take that image and that request put it on my timeline here it's already up here and it's going to send it to all 2200 friends that I have so when they go like it it's going to end up on their news feed and their friends will see it so it does have a huge impact and you can do this every few days you can do that you can even share it through to groups so if we go back here I'll show you we can you can even share that to a group and if you do a couple of those every day you know that's a way of increasing your likes without 
having to pay for anything. So again, if we're going to share there, you can go your share in a group and group name, let's just say um, MLM Leaders in Africa and you can say um, fellow South Africans, please like my page. I love helping people like you work from home and be successful. Thanks for the time. And I go post. Now, my goodness, if this group has, let's say, 20,000 members in there, guys, that has gone out to 20,000 people. And you will always get likes, always. You will always get some people, whether it's five, whether it's 500, you're going to get likes. And you know what? There's no limit to doing that. You can share your pages on all the different groups. Um, okay, so that's one option. I can't keep going too long. I'm so passionate about Facebook, so I can really keep you going. But that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is you can invite your friends. So down here, you can go and invite friends to like this page. And if you click on that, it's going to actually bring up your friend list on Facebook. You can either key in a name here, or it's just going to come up with a whole heap of people. So I can just go invite, 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 invite. I can just click, 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 invite all of these people and they will like my page. Why would you do that? Well, because when you do that, your posts will appear on their news feed, their friends will see it. If their friends like it, the friends' friends will see it and it just has a huge impact. So that's another thing you can do. Um, the other thing you can do is you can go up here and you can change who you appear as. So in other words, if I just went into a group as Charlotte Venter, when I do a, a like or a comment, it shows as Charlotte Venter, but I can come here by clicking on this little arrow here and I can change that to me appearing as retire your partner. Okay, so now what I do is now I'm going to go and do some marketing on groups. So again, I'm just going to go into a group. Let's have a look. You've got to go into a public group. You can't go into a closed group unless you're a member. Um, so here's a public group and... Some of them you can post on, others you can't, so you've just got to look for a group that you can post on. Um, let's go work from home. Mm, public group, work from home opportunities. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, mum, 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 mum. We'll just keep going until we find one. So work from home winners. Hopefully this guy is going to allow me to post. Uh, it doesn't look like it as well. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to show you this one. So let's go, even, even if you go into a closed group, so Network Marketing Pro. Now I know people that hang out on this page are people who I want to target. You know, they are the kind of people I want to work with. So although I can't actually... And I can say something on you, but Eric needs to approve that. I can actually just go in here and I can like a, pay, a post. Now have a look here. So, so this is, you see all these people here have liked it as themselves. Look now what happens. I go like, look what it does. Retire your partner, email in value and coaching. Now the next person comes on here. They see that they think, oh gosh, who's this? They hover over it. It looks interesting and they're going to go to my page and have a look. And I can guarantee you if there's somebody in MLM and they're looking for coaching or looking for ideas on how to grow their business, they're going to like my page. So not only can I like it, I can even put up a comment. So I haven't quite read that yet, but I will just say, um, thank you, Eric. For your 
encouragement. He really does encourage me, guys. I I do listen to him a lot. I've learned all his podcasts, and he, he is just an amazing man. So I'm just going to say thank you, Eric, for your encouragement. And look what happens again. Now it shows retire your partner. Emily Value and Coaching has commented on here. Guaranteed people are going to come here and look at that and go, who is this? Click on it, and they're going to go to my page. So, guys, it's endless what you can do. You can go into hundreds of groups. You can comment, like. Some of them will allow you to actually put up a post, and you can do that. And the impact you have, again, it costs you nothing. The impact you have getting people back to your own page is quite significant. The last thing I'll show you very quickly is I'm just going to change this back to Charlotte because now I've done my marketing for the day. I'm happy. I want to be Charlotte again now. So I've changed it back to Charlotte. And um, tomorrow when I do the same thing, you know, I'll just I'll just change it again and, and change it back. So one last thing I'll show you is if you have a look here on my page, this is my personal profile, is that on the left-hand side here, it actually shows my page. It says click here to go to my fan page. How do you do this? Well, I'm going to show you. So if you go into About, and you go into Edit Your Workplace, and up here, you go Add Workplace. So what you key in here is your page name. Okay, so retire your partner. So I click on that. Then down here, as position, what you say is... Um, you just start clicking, oh sorry, clicking, you start clicking, typing and click, okay? So, um, look what you can select. You can select here, click here to visit my business page. Or click here, um, there's a couple of options there, but that's what you're going to want to do, is click here to visit my business page. You click on save changes and... It's going to put it up for you. For you. I don't want to do that now because it's going to mess up my settings. But it's going to put up here for you. Click here to visit my fan page. Retire your partner. And so what happens is when people look at your personal profile, you know, a lot of people do that. They snoop around. They have a look at all your stuff. They're going to see on the left-hand side, you. oh, she's got another page. Let me go and have a look. So they click on this. It's going to take them straight to that page, and they're going to like your page. So, guys, that's it for today. I hope it's helped you. Um, Please comment below this video, please share, please like, and if you would like to know more about how I can help you in your MLM, contact me, my details are below. All the best in your business. I am passionate about this business, and I would love to help you and give you some more tips. So look out for my next video, go and visit my blogs, I give away lots of free information like this to help you, and I'm sending you lots of encouragement, all the best, and have a super day. See you guys.